when Pope Pius XII defined the dogma of assumption in 1950 in the honor of this uh, great privilege and peace, it was also uh, composed a, a new uh, mass uh, for Our Lady's honor called Sinium Manium. And uh, that uh, mass wonderfully presents the words of St. John in the Apocalypse, where the Apostle saw a great sign up in the heavens, a lady who was crowned with 12 stars. And in that vision, St. John clearly saw how great and wonderful and venerable is this wonderful queen of ours. She is our queen, but she is also queen of heaven and earth. And that's why she gained a singular privilege, not only of being conceived without sin, but also to be assumed into heaven, body and uh, body and soul already before general resurrection. And before that, uh, w this wonderful mass which the choir sings today was uh, composed. The uh, church uh, used to read uh, in, during this feast uh, or on this feast uh, the uh, gospel about Saint Mary Magdalene and her sister Martha. Uh, Mary and Martha were sisters of Lazarus, and all three of them were very dear to our Lord when he was here on earth. And I wanted today, on the occasion of visit of some of our uh, religious, uh, to speak to you about uh, our vocations or different choices of vocation uh, uh, in life. Each Catholic has a special vocation or also called state of life where he or she uh, is called. There are three of those, religious life, uh, mar married life and single uh, life. And for each one of those vocations or states of life, Our Lady has such a singular and great and privileges, uh, privileged graces which she so lovingly distributes to each of her children. The highest, uh, point, uh, the highest form of the state of life, those who uh, want to achieve perfection, is religious life. Religious is somebody who has dedicated himself or herself totally to the service of God Almighty here on earth and for the salvation of his or her own soul and souls of uh, the uh, others. During uh, her life on earth, uh, God asked the Blessed Virgin Mary to be humble mother of Jesus and wife of uh, Joseph. In a very special way, Our Lady, in her humility, is an example for those who want to answer God's call uh, and uh, serve him in, as in priesthood or in religious uh, state. Uh, Our Lady's example of fidelity can be a model for anyone who is seeking uh, to be faithful to the uh, call God has uh, given uh, them. And uh, one of the uh, biggest obstacles in the life uh, or in, in the, for those who uh, want to become religious or uh, are looking after priesthood or religious life is that it takes uh, and demands enormous amount of humility. Life uh, of a religious one, it takes lots of humility because mainly because in the religious state one has to continually humble himself. He must always lower himself. He must show obedience. And uh, uh, the hardest thing in the religious life or in the life of the priesthood, they are not uh, prayers or early rises or busy or even hectic or stressful lifestyle. No, they are not. After all, many lay people have to also suffer uh, from these tribulations which uh, are uh, in the life of both religious and lay people. No, the hardest thing in the life of a religious uh, is that he has to constantly humiliate himself and constantly put himself under the charge of other other person, be to one whom he has to show humility and be obedient uh, to. 
uh, for sometimes uh, in the life of the uh, lay person he or she might be difficulties of finding out what is the uh, will of God uh, for me just here and now for religious person that problem if one should call that it never exists because for a religious person or for a priest the will of God is always the will of his uh, superior. Uh, so many times if somebody feels called to uh, become a religious uh, life but uh, uh, quits or fails in one reason or another, it is always, almost always, the, uh, 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 the reason is that the person was incapable or unwilling to put himself totally in God's control in the form of the will of his superior. Uh, I always wonder, uh, I always admire the part of the gospel when our Lord speaks to uh, Saint Peter, where he points out to Peter these uh, words, when you were young, you girded yourself and you did your own will and went to the place where you yourself wanted to go. But when you are old, another person will gird you and lead you to the place where you do not want to go. Humility and obedience, they are something, uh, we, uh, and they are virtues which are required, especially from a religious person, the one who dedicates himself totally. But if somebody manages to do that, namely to annihilate himself, and annihilate and destroy his very own will for that person in the religious life. God grants so many an incredible amount of uh, graces and of these graces because uh, he often is a work in the ministry work. Those graces he can, by his work, distribute to everybody around him as well. Secondly, Mary is uh, such a great example and help and consolation for those who lived uh, in married uh, life. Uh, of course, because Mary was a mother and she was a spouse, uh, she uh, has uh, the great protection and loving care and uh, intercession for all uh, married uh, persons. And life of a married person is often uh, times uh, much uh, more, uh, much uh, more uh, ungrateful, so to speak, than that of religious uh, person. For religious person, even though he has many enemies, uh, the, he also, most of the time, also finds faithful souls who appreciate and are grateful to the work religious persons uh, do. In a married state, somebody uh, or uh, a person very rarely comes to you and congratulates you what a, a great husband or wife uh, you are. It's something that uh, usually uh, is very much lacking in compliments, the married uh, state of uh, life. And in the married uh, life, you oftentimes uh, are so m uh, much distressed or you have uh, certain things which demand your, uh, your attention that you might feel overwhelmed and that you don't have uh, time or opportunity to worship God in the way you would uh, want to. At St. Gertrude's, one mother once uh, told me how difficult it was for her to be, try to become, to be a good mother and good Catholic at the same time because she was always so distressed. She had a son uh, who was, uh, has, had special needs and it was almost impossible to uh, uh, make uh, him stay quiet during uh, the Mass. And it often happened when the son was uh, little that uh, the, the child started crying uh, aloud uh, during the uh, Mass and not just crying but shouting and screaming. And that uh, made uh, uh, also the uh, younger daughter nervous uh, as well. So this poor mother, uh, she was trying to keep an eye of the oldest uh, boy while all the time having a toddler in each of her hand, both uh, uh, crying uh, their lungs out. And at the end of the mass, she usually was uh, rewarded uh, with the locks of the other people in the mass. Uh, and she was greeted by kind of a angry or frustrated locks from the parishioner 
seem seemingly saying, can't you keep your kids quiet? And she was trying so hard to look back with sorry eyes. I'm trying, I'm trying. And into these kind of mothers and fathers who struggle to keep the balance uh, of the earthly life and heavenly life uh, together, Our Lady again has so much compassion and uh, protection in heaven. She monitors and uh, protects each of her uh, children who have children of their own. And we can always think if you have difficulties in your prayer life, in your spiritual life, how much uh, love and uh, how much caring our Blessed Lady must have for you. After all, she is uh, called the refuge of sinners. And if she loves and protects so much, even for the sinners of this world, how much she must love uh, those uh, parents who want to, uh, uh, during her help, uh, make their home as honorable, as obedient, and as humble uh, uh, family as was her own family, the Holy Family. Priesthood uh, or religious life and married life are the vocation or the states of life where most of the Catholics are called. But there's also the single estate, which means uh, uh, living the life uh, of a lay person, uh, but doing that all by himself uh, in uh, the world. And of all the three uh, stages, uh, 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 vocations in life, single state is the most difficult. Yes, as a pre in a priesthood or in religious life, uh, you have the support of your brothers and sisters in religion. In married state, you have the help of your family, you and you have the joy of seeing your children growing up. In the single state, you are all by yourself. But in a very special way, single state can also be the state where to grow in the most special holiness, because oftentimes living a single life is the life uh, of invisibility. Just like uh, in the, during their course in this life or in this earth, the life of holy family was invisible. A single person living in this world, nobody uh, might uh, know much about him. Uh, he might be overlooked. Somebody uh, who has seems to have no, uh, not much friends, or doesn't is not very worthwhile, so to speak, in the eyes of the world. But in the eyes of God, in the eyes of Blessed Virgin Mary, he or she might be the holiest person among the whole Catholic flock. The uh, the humility can be shown in a, a very uh, wonderful uh, way in the single uh, state because what is often uh, hidden from the eyes of the world is very specially graceful in the eyes of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So, dear faithful, we are and we must be all uh, God's uh, children and also the children of the same mother, namely Blessed Virgin uh, Mary. We uh, can uh, never uh, think uh, that God uh, has some kind of uh, other plans uh, uh, for us than exactly the one which he wants us uh, to be uh, called. When God calls uh, us, uh, he calls us into doing his will, no matter what the state of uh, our life uh, uh, is. Mary, uh, who is in a wonderful uh, way, is the true mother for us. You can never get a better example in humility, in obedience, in caring for the for caring for your neighbor, caring about God, caring for your family, and caring for the everlasting life. When we have such a powerful protectress and mother in heaven, uh, any sorrow which we face on this earth in doing the will of uh, uh, God is uh, quickly overrun by the loving uh, words uh, of uh, Our Lady, where she uh, has promised that forever uh, we and we can and we will call her as mother. May God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.